you're just surrounded with people that you love and who love your kids and who are such an important part of your life. So uh, our hearts are just overflowing tonight. Uh, we're so glad that you're all here. Uh, we want to do a shout out to everyone who helped make this day really special. For Amanda, Dan, her sisters, and Josh, and all the time they spent planning and creating this beautiful day. For Father Charlie, a special friend of Amanda, Dan, who has stood with us and our family in good times and bad. For our good friends, Terry and Bob, and their countless assistance and planning. For Kayla and the staff here at Champions, thank you for all your work to make this day special. And for everyone else who helped to make this day possible, thank you. And most of all, thank you to all of you here. We know that many of you have sacrificed, you've traveled, you've changed plans, you've delayed plans to be here today, and it means the world to us to be surrounded by so many people that we love and that Amanda and Dan love. Each of you have played a special role in our life and Amanda and Dan's life, and we thank God for all of you. Today is a time of so many emotions for us as Amanda's parents. And my team is back here somewhere and they know that I cry, so they're used to this, but if you see me crying, it's, it's just Ann being Ann, so. <laughs> we go right to the time when we first held Amanda as a new and all of the years in between. And it seems impossible to believe that we are here today. Amanda, you have been one of the sweetest blessings of our life. The day you were born was so special. We held you in our arms and we vowed that we would always love and protect you. And we prayed that God would make us worthy of parenting such a beautiful miracle. And then we closed our eyes and for a moment, and suddenly, a woman stood where our little girl was. We love the name Amanda. Little did we know how fitting it would be for our little tiny little girl when we named her. The name Amanda means lovable, worthy of love. It's a Latin name meaning ama amor. And how fitting, lovable. From day one, Amanda has been lovable. To all who know her, you can't help but love her. Her kindness, joyfulness, and other-centeredness, generosity, and humility make her so easy to love. Amanda led us to the world of girls' sports. She was determined to play soccer. This South Dakota dad and Minnesota mom knew nothing about soccer. <laughs> but her persistence in literally taking care of every detail, including actually finding a friend's dad who wanted her to join their team, meant we couldn't say no. It was the beginning of many years of cheering for our girls at soccer, basketball, track, and cross country. All of these sports, Amanda probably enjoyed running the most, achieving the 900 mile club for years of running at Marion. Amanda's determination to achieve this goal meant running nearly every day in rain, on vacation, morning and night, and getting to know all of our neighbors as they saw her on her daily trek of putting in the miles. That same persistence served Amanda as she pursued her dream of becoming a physician, a biochemistry major uh, in med school and residency, and or as her friends coined it, dream chasing. In Amanda's May Queen speech, <clears throat> she talked about saying yes to God's will in our life and how Mary said yes. My mom was able to be there for that ceremony. And Amanda did a tribute to her grandmother as a model of living a life, saying yes to God's purpose. It was a glorious day to witness my mom be honored and to witness Amanda so clearly um, stating the way forward for her life. And while in med school, when her grandma was dying, she told Amanda, you're going to be a wonderful doctor someday. And how mom must smile, Amanda, to see that you have lived your life, choosing the road less traveled, working hard to live your God-given purpose, and 
and saying yes to God's will for your life. Another trademark of Amanda is the incredible people she surrounds herself with. So many of you have been through thick and thin with her throughout the years. Many of you are here, and we've been blessed to know all of you. So it didn't surprise us that Amanda would find someone like Dan. We have this color coded. <laughs> Amanda, you have chosen an incredible young man as your husband, and we could not be happier to welcome Dan into our family today. Dan, you are truly special, and we are so happy that you two can share life together. Daniel, the name, means remaining loyal, or the courage to love deeply, or fearlessly faithful. And we can't think of a better description of you. It took courage and fearlessness and loyalty to choose to uproot your life from this incredible family and all of your friends to move to Omaha to build a life with her. You've shown what it means to love someone at the core of your heart, someone you want to wrap your life around, someone you want to devote your life to. Dan, when you asked to marry Amanda, you shared how you loved her kind heart. Don't let her kind heart fool you. Source <laughs> Underneath that is a fierce loyalty. She will be your teammate no matter what life throws at you. You are the one for Amanda. Thank you for loving her so well and for being the kind of man we can trust with Amanda's heart. Like Amanda, Dan has chosen a life's work of service. Dan's a special ed teacher. So one day, I asked Dan why his eyes were crossed. And he said it was because he couldn't control his pupils. He's also a coach, basketball, cross country, and track. Go Elkhorn North Wolves. Dan just had a state championship girls track team, so that's a feather in his hat. So Dan really knows about running, and I know diet and the rest is all a part of being a good runner. So I asked Dan one day, what do runners eat before a big race? I was shocked to hear they eat fast food. <laughs> fast food. For those of you. And you have to explain. <laughs> In all seriousness, Dan, we know that you will cherish her because we've seen it. In good times and bad, we know you'll stand with Amanda and you'll stand for her. We know you'll make her laugh and comfort her when sorrow makes her sad. You are her answer prayer. Hold her hand forever. We've been so blessed to be a part of this beautiful time in you guys' life. And so blessed to have you come into our family. And we thank God that you found each other. On this, your wedding day, Amanda, we want you to know how proud we are as your mom and dad. Honey, you are kind and smart and beautiful. You have a heart for others. And you spread joy and love to all of us lucky enough to get to do life with you. You are completely you, one of a kind. You prayed for your future spouse your entire life. We prayed. And to see how well you have chosen makes us and our hearts so happy. And Dan and Amanda, we are so proud that you are just as beautiful in your actions as you are in your lovely faces. You are everything we hoped for and more, Dan. To see your joy and excitement today makes us rejoice. So we have a tradition in our family of doing toasts 
Dan's been broken in. <laughs> so uh, we'd like you all to raise a glass, and uh, we'd like to do a toast. Uh, start the toast for Dan and Amanda. So Dan and Amanda, may you always be grateful that God has brought you together. May you both be patient without effort. May you be kind in word and deed. May you be strong in character and conviction. May you grow in faith, hope, and love. May you be wise and speak the truth. May you honor God and each other. May you always find comfort in each other's embrace. May you always build your home upon God's grace. May you prosper and be healthy and happy all your days. And may your life shine God's love for all to see. Cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. This is Daniel Lish. so even now, I mean, watching him talk, I, I've said for the first time, like, I don't see him as my uh, little brother. He's actually kind of a grown-up now, which uh, which is a bit surprising. And uh, I mean, his, his, you know, you've heard a lot of things, but I've seen it firsthand, his integrity, his his respect, his his unconditional love, and, and, and Dan doesn't care who you are. For instance, him and I uh, played, uh, I was a senior, he was a freshman, we played basketball together at St. Louis U, and, and he was on defense, and we were working on some things on offense, and kept turning the ball over, and, and, our, uh, and our coach came in and said, no, you, you do it like this, Coach Majerus, you don't mess with him. And uh, Daniel, Coach Majerus gets on the court, throws a pass, first pass, Daniel steals it right away. And... Uh, it's like, that's a no, no You don't steal a, a pass from the coach. He made him run. He cussed him out right away. But to me, that epitomized Daniel. He doesn't care who you are. He's going to treat you the same. So um, I can say, I think for certain, he didn't marry Amanda because she's a doctor. Um, although he did wait until she finished writing the Brisbane scene. <laughs> I think Daniel's extremely resourceful. I remember him visiting us in, in Australia before, and we were making dinner, which I rarely do, and cutting up an onion, and uh, there was like this much, there was like three dices of onion left. I was about to throw it away. He said, no, no, let me put it in a Tupperware container. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, any leftover food, just put it in a little Tupperware container when they get back from Mexico. Steak and, steak and chicken for a while, so. That'd be great. And uh, I think, Amanda, uh, I've met you, honestly, on Zoom, and then I met you two weeks ago. You're, you're an amazing person. I trust my brother, and I see how happy you make him. I feel like I've known you for at least three weeks. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I, your parents have done a wonderful job raising you as, you know, as your sisters, I'm sure, had, had a huge role in that as well. So... Welcome to the family. We love you, and and uh, I don't really have any uh, great advice or anything except for the fact when you're in your honeymoon lovey-dovey stage, uh, all I can can say is just pray together. When you know your patience wears thin on each other, which it will for sure, uh, pray together. When you need guidance and and uh, and direction and don't know what to do, just pray together. So. Uh, you'll grow in your faith together and you'll grow in each other. I'd say you're perfect for each other, but uh, I think more importantly, I know you guys will grow together, which, which will stand through thick and thin. So I don't even know if we do a toast now. 
I don't know this one. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to Amanda and Daniel. Good evening to all of you beloved people in Amanda and Dan's lives. I'm Amanda's older sister, Emily, and I'm absolutely honored to be standing here today. Along with our parents, I'm proud to say I have known Amanda longer than anyone here. <laughs> Although, as a two-year-old, I wasn't very enthused to be getting a baby sister. And after she came home from the hospital, I asked mom and dad when she would go back. <laughs> It's a funny story, but I have to say, standing here 30 years later, it's a great thing we didn't send her back because she's a great gift in my life and I don't know what I would do without her. We have had countless sister adventures together. We shared a room growing up, bunk beds and all. I love the memories of talking as we laid in bed, falling asleep. As the older sister, I always had the top bunk. When we moved houses, Mandy decided she now wanted the top bunk, so we switched. Only a few weeks later, I heard a big thud. She had fallen out of the bed. Thankfully, she wasn't injured, and let's just say I took the top bunk from there forward. Another sister adventure was when mom and dad sent us to Washington, D.C. to visit our great aunt, Irma when I was a rising sixth grader and she was a rising fourth grader. We had so much fun seeing all of the DC monuments and museums, and one of our favorite things was making decisions together about what souvenirs we'd buy with our spending money. <laughs> the visor. <laughs> Man had a visor phase and she definitely bought a visor. <laughs> When I moved to West Virginia after college, Mandy was my first visitor, and she was game for whatever I had in mind for the weekend. Her only request was to see the sunset on Skyline Drive in Shenandoah National Park, which I was happy to agree to. This is one quality I love about Amanda. She notices beauty and deeply appreciates it. That same weekend, we had another sister adventure in DC. We took the train into Union Station and walked the entire National Mall all the way to the Lincoln Monument. We were going to go to the National Basilica from there, and I had the grand idea to walk there since, you know, it's only a few miles. <laughs> Let's just say this was not one of my best ideas. We learned the hard way that it's better to find the metro or call an Uber when going across town in a very big city. <laughs> Thanks for always being game for my ideas, Mandy, even helping me learn lessons along the way. <laughs> While I have endless sister stories, I'd like to tell you more about Amanda as a person. Mandy has a huge heart and a deep desire to grow. As many of you see on her social media, she's constantly writing out quotes and reflecting on them. I am inspired at how Mandy seeks wisdom and takes that wisdom and transforms it into a gratitude practice in a way to have a more loving and humble perspective on life. One really cool example of this was when Mandy was taking, talking to her friend from high school, Margaret, who's here tonight. They were talking about medical school and the challenging road ahead. Margaret shared the idea of thinking of medical school as dream chasing. Mandy loved this and took this idea and truly applied it to shift her perspective as she worked hard in medical school, taking her mini board exams and in residency. All of the hard work became part of her dream chasing. Mandy is a family medicine physician. I'm so proud of her for achieving this dream. She didn't want to become a doctor for the status or title. She did it out of a deep care for people. This is one of the most true things I can say about Amanda. She cares so deeply for people. She chose to be a family medicine doctor so she could build relationships with her patients and care for them. 
and also so she could have a good balance to prioritize her relationships with family and friends too. Mandy is one of the best people I know at building and maintaining relationships. She reaches out, she checks in, she prioritizes phone call catch-ups and hanging out with friends. She is a wonderful friend, always so present and loving. Our sisters, Lizzie and Morgan, have joked over the years that Mandy has so many best friends, it almost seems like hundreds of them. <laughs> That's a bit of an exaggeration, but I am truly grateful to call Amanda one of my very best friends for life. So as I'm sure you've gathered, finding someone who would be a good match for Mandy was a tall order. Spoiler alert, she found her true match in Dan. In Dan, Mandy has a partner who also values being present, working hard, and being a loving and kind person. Together they share their faith and continually challenge each other to grow. When I sent Dan a list of questions for a game for Mandy's Bachelorette, he had some very sweet answers. As an answer to the question, what was the first gift she gave you? He said, saying yes to fitting me in her busy schedule to meet at Foundation Grounds, our first date. Aww. <laughs> and, to, and to the question of what one word he would use to describe Amanda, his word was joyful. I love that. It is so true of Amanda, and honestly, it is true of Amanda and Dan together. I'm so happy to see your mutual joy and so just honored to stand by your side today. It's just in line with the first time Dan came home for a weekend with the family. Amanda was so comfortable to have Dan around and be with the family. Their joy together was apparent even in the early days and has only grown since then. Dan and the relationship Amanda and Dan have is truly a gift in our family. I'm very grateful that they chose to move to Omaha last August. Being able to live close to each other and see each other often is really a gift. We've had fun at family dinners on the deck, pumpkin carving nights, and playing charades with Charlie. I had this grand idea to do a whole scrapbook for Charlie's birthday in a day. <laughs> Dan and Mandy were great sports about joining in on scrapbook day with all the rest of us Omaha Shoe fam even though neither of them would call themselves creative. So they took it upon themselves that their role for the day would be the page gluers. So we all did scrapbook pages and they glued them and uh, we all had so much fun. I look forward to many more family dinners and fun memories made together into a future of being in your corner and supporting you both however I can. In the spirit of wishes for the future, I'd like to make a toast. Let's all raise our glasses and toast to Amanda and Dan Lish. On your wedding day, I toast to a married life of dream chasing together for grace in the hard moments and innumerable moments of joy. Congrats. is thank you. Uh, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Dan and I are extremely blessed when we look around the room and see everyone here that loves us, has loved us from the moment we were born, um, that has driven near and far to be here. It means the world. Um, we wanted to give a special shout out to our parents, to Russell and Catherine and Anna and Mark, um, to Madre for being my pseudo wedding planner. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Madre has done it all. And uh, like Dan said last night, she has done it on top of a very demanding full-time job. So um, we are so grateful for all of your love and support. Honestly, over these last nine months, it was a fairly quick turnaround between Lizzie and Josh's wedding last September and now. So, um, and they've just uh, taken every step of the way very graciously and helped us a lot in planning. So. 
we are very, very grateful. We're grateful to all of our vendors, um, to our photographer, Erica, you've been wonderful to work with, uh, Naomi and her boyfriend, Michael. It's Naomi's 19th birthday, so shout out to her. Yeah. Happy birthday, woo! Uh, to James, our DJ, um, to Terry and Bob and everything that you did with uh, coordinating uh, the beautiful decorations with Piccolo's Florist. Um, to Kayla and her team here at Champions, I think they have obviously done a phenomenal job. Hopefully you enjoyed your dinner, and hopefully we have a wonderful, wonderful night to come with a lot of dancing still, to, still in us. Um, seriously, though, uh, Dan and I, I think one of the biggest things is just we always say how much we look forward to building our life together. So thank you for being here for that first day as Mr. and Mrs. We hope that there are many more beautiful memories to come with all of you. So. Thank you so much. We love you.